in shared spaces, like we think of the room as like the physical, not the physical, the virtual environment that your characters are in. And so if you can see each other in the virtual environment, we can see you to be in the same room. Um, so the lobby is a room, then we have a bunch of colored rooms. We have um, red, blue, and green room. Those are all private rooms. So if you get invited to the same lobby and you go into the red, blue, or green rooms, the same people from your lobby will be in there. If you go to the purple room, that's a public room. And so there's no invite required. And so you can just run in there. And if literally anybody else is running like shared spaces at the time and they're in the purple room, you'll see them there. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot to kind of figure out around rooms and matches and like how you're going to use them. Shared spaces provides like one example of how to do that. And if that works for you, great, but there, there are like, you can adjust the way that works as well. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, the concept of match, it almost feels like it's always going to be like one person versus the other. But I think match can also mean like you're forming a team and then you can even collaborate. Like it's almost like design dependent, right? Yeah. I'm, and like the way I kind of think of it is the match is temporary. Like when the match is over, you're going to go back to the lobby. There may be people in your match that aren't in your lobby. There may not be. It may be that like we're just playing a two player game and we go into a match and it's the two of us and we go back to the lobby and it's just the two of us. But I think the pop one is like a good example of like, okay, we go in, there's a whole bunch of other people that weren't in my lobby. I wasn't talking to them before. And then like when it's all over, I go back to the lobby and it's just the people that are in my like my group.